I'm going to boil off the nasty fat and sinew and carve a pretty song on your bones. Hey! Someone kill this crazy witch! I can make you rich! Quiet now. Granny needs to concentrate. Don't kill me. Granny Rag, stop! Stop what you're doing! Can't we at least talk about it? My knives gotta be nice and sharp to cut into your skeleton, Slackjaw. Nice and sharp. There's my love. Are you ready to help get Slackjaw's bones? Granny has some birthday gifts for you. I've been saving them up in case you ever came back to me. Aren't you a gentleman helping Granny Rags with her stew? We'll eat well tonight, sweetheart. First thing, you'll have to put him to the knife. Don't want him crawling out of the pot now. What you doing? Listen, Ami Corvo. Don't help her. Don't let her kill me. You have to. You could have anything I own. Dear. Corn, whiskey. I gotta keep to the sewerways. Whatever you want. Kill him first, my love. Then we can remove the chains. What are you doing? Don't help her. She's out of her mind. I can reward you. What do you want? Money? Weapons? Oh, no, you don't. I'll kill you and cook you and eat your heart for breakfast. Look around. There's a cameo of a young girl. It's her. Destroy it with the furnace. Says in one of her books it's the only way to get rid of her forever. I know the cameo don't look like her, but it's supposed to be her when she was young. That's where she gets her powers. Throw it into the furnace. Burn the cameo and you kill her. Kill you just like all the others. It works it's best if I boil you It's the ca cameo. Any the secret is in the, the cameo, pot, just Harry. a piece from an old necklace, understand? Now you'll see what I can do. It's too late for him, and it's too late for you. Uh, uh. I won't go away. You can't kill me, but I can kill you. Shield me, ocean fogs, shield me. You think you're going to save him? He's not worth it. Now Granny is going to kill you just like all the others. Will I write on your skull that you were a fool? Now you'll see what I can do. It's too late for him, and it's too late for you. It works best if I boil you alive. Any chance you'll hop in the pot, dearie? You're a fool to try to help him. A fool, and now you're going to die. You will die, and I'll carve spells into your ribs. You can't kill her that way. I think it just makes her stronger. The only way to get rid of her for good is to burn the cameo.
Not so easy to be rid of Granny Rags, is it? That's the best you can do, dearie. Well, it's not enough. Bones of the great Leviathan, protect me! You think you're going to save him? He's not worth it. Now Granny is going to kill you just like all the others. Tired? Too bad for you. Granny doesn't need rest. Now you'll see what I can do. It's too late for him. And it's too late for you. Unlock me. Wanna know something funny? When we were kids, we were all scared of Granny Rags. Thought she was a terrible witch. Then we grew up and figured she was just a sad old lady. We were right the first time. Now ain't that funny? I owe you. This won't even the score, but it's all I got left. Luck to you, Corvo. You find your way into such interesting places, Corvo. Crawling out of those flooded ruins, winding your way back to the pub where you last saw Emily. Where is she now? How does it feel now, knowing your allies betrayed you? Strange how there's always a little more innocence left to lose. And Dowd. You just killed the greatest assassin of the age. Did you do it for love of the Empress or Emily? Or was it the primal desire to rise above other men? Do you even know why?
They left, left in great, great haste, scattering like insects, eager to bore into the nests she made for them.
No! Oh, it's you, Corvo. I think the stars. We all thought you'd been killed. Except for Samuel. He seemed sure you'd survived. I saw him on the river shortly before the killing began. He was smart enough not to come ashore. But I'll bet he's still out there. Looking for you is my guess. Havelock called us into the yard. But I wasn't feeling well. I just watched from the attic. The Admiral brought his cutlass. He stuck Wallace through the eye with it. Then he did Lydia. Calissa he shot in the back with his pistol. Emily saw it all. Havelock kept yelling something about the things he'd done and how no one could ever know. Pendleton wouldn't even look anyone in the face. They said it was time for Sokolov and went off to his cage. I don't know what happened after that. Emily was there when the killing started. Poor child. I hope she hit her eyes. The Admiral said that Martin was right. I guess they talked about it. And they started to worry they'd get executed for all that they'd done, going after the Lord Regent and his allies. I suppose it's why they've poisoned you too. I thought Lydia would squeal on me at the end. She just told Havelock to screw himself. And died. Lydia's the only one who ever showed me any kindness. I don't think the Admiral actually knew I existed. I can hide here for as long as it takes. Seems that no one is safe when a man is that close to a prize like the throne. Any chance you'll share your food with me tonight? 